Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Welcome to another episode of Celebrating Act 2. John Coleman and I are here to just chat about stuff. Hey, about John. Life, about <laughs> life, about the seasons of change, about right. the magnificent of springtime, Art. Springtime? Springtime time. for... Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 wrong show. Actually, actually, it doesn't feel like spring yet. Although I have a um, a cousin who, on each equinox, uh, yeah. sends a picture of an egg standing on its end. So it seemed to me that it was probably springtime. But you know, you walk around outside, not really springtime. Yeah, you know, you're right. It it isn't. I'm a gardener, as you know. Yeah. And um, I was taking my sweet time in the last uh, month to dig the weeds out of my garden and prepare it for planting. And I figured officially, at least according to the Farmer's Almanac, planting in here in Southern California is after April 1st, usually typically April 15th. But every year, because it's Southern California, I always feel like, gee, it's late. I could have got something in the ground sooner because it never gets really, really cold here, except for the rare year. And so I was thinking that I was way ahead of schedule. And I just went to the garden center over the weekend just to see what they've right. got. Have they put the fl the flowers out? I knew you were way ahead of schedule because I count on us getting together every three or four weeks now that we live much further apart than we used to. And we get together about once a month. And I was realizing that where's my big heads of cauliflower? Where are the, the, the tomatoes, amazing tomatoes? I mean, he used... The, the last two or three times that you brought tomatoes six months ago, they were just they kept falling out of your trunk. <laughs> so you're not. Well, you got to you got to wait for them to grow. I haven't even planted them that yet this year. So. Okay, so what do, what do I have to look forward to now? Well, you're going to see a lot of, of veggies. But here's the deal: I went to the garden center thinking maybe I'm a little too early. They don't have anything out yet, right? Mm. The place was packed. There was not really? a parking space available. Hundreds of people roaming all over, tables and tables filled with every kind of vegetable you can think of, from zucchini to asparagus. And when you say tables filled with galore, you you buy plants that are already gestating or, or, or growing, most as people, opposed to putting do. seeds with yeah. the tractor in the ground. No, there there are some there are some things that you can plant from seed, but most, quite frankly, most gardeners buy you know. Um, starter plants. They're, no. they're just little bitty things. They're but, not. You know, you didn't have, the point is that the, the nurseries can grow them in a hothouse during the winter. Mm. So you can start your plants in the ground a little sooner, as soon as the, the ground allows it. And that's, that's what most people do for gardening, and that's what I do. I plant corn from seed. Corn? Uh, yep. Hey, we're not in Kansas anymore. <laughs> corn? I, I, unfortunately, I haven't had a whole lot of luck with corn, but no. I don't care. I eat whatever's available, whatever the birds don't eat and the gophers don't get. <laughs> so, but anyway, it is spring, and mm. I'm not the only one who works in a garden, plants a garden, and boy, I'm behind schedule. Everybody else was way ahead of me. Uh, I'm, my garden's not ready for planting yet. But it's you're right in that most people don't you, you don't see spring. I know officially last week it became spring, whatever it was, the 20th or the 21st. But most people don't see spring until the, the leaves change and the buds bloom and all of that. But if you're a gardener, you got to be ahead of the game. Mm. So well, I, you know, I hope that next year, rather than be tardy and wait for the last minute, you'll uh, mark down your calendar where you're supposed to go to the, uh, uh, to the gardening store. Get it right. Yeah, yeah well, please. I slept through the winter. <laughs> like a bear. Anyway, huh. uh, spring is here officially, but it'll soon look and feel like spring. That's the that's my message for today. So act like it's spring, even though it may not look like it's spring. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to um, uh, the fruits of your labor. So <laughs> Literally, the fruits yes. of my labor. By the way, speaking of spring, there are apples on our trees. 
little mm. little bitty little bitty apples. Uh, and they have, they won't come due until maybe the fall. And what, what, what about the, today? You you spoke a couple of weeks ago. Maybe it wasn't on the air about avocados. Avocados, yeah. We've got a lot of avocados. Mm. I've got two different kinds of avocado trees, and I don't know enough about them. They're still relatively new. I think I've got to pick them, even though they don't feel ripe. You know, feel ripe to the touch. Mm. I. Th- think what I've got to do, I got to look it up, uh, pick them, put them in a paper bag uh-huh. and let them uh, ripen in a paper bag, which you do, can do with tomatoes and other ve- veggies as well. Right. So, but it, yeah, if that's the case, I'll bring you some avocados. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Okay. Well, well, thank you, Farmer John. Oh, you're quite welcome. I love sharing the fruits of my labor. Actually, I don't labor. It's the Gophers would do all the work, I think. I don't. <laughs> oh, aerating the soil. Yeah, that's what they're they're doing something. I don't. Well, good. Well, I'm glad that I'm glad now that you have gone to a busy gardening center. Uh, I'm gl- glad to now know that spring has sprung. Yeah, I'm. Quite frankly, I'm not sure I re- recognized the uh, that spring has sprung until I got there and saw all those people roaming around buying plants. Oh, boy. Well, okay, people. It's springtime. Welcome. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy. Anyway, everybody, enjoy springtime. That's our message for today. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.